So, I'm coming back at you with another update on intermittent fasting. So it's week two, day three, and we are about to head into the end of Holy Week. So I said I was going to give an update on. Um, I've been I've been sticking to it. I've been sticking to the twelve to nine. Um, I went on track a little bit at the end of last week because of banana bread. So that's to be expected. Um, I'm working on it for this week, though, in all honesty. Uh, I'm finding that when I'm really stressed uh, around 11 o'clock, I get hungry. But then in my head, I'm like, it's one more hour. Like, you can just do it. Uh, something else that I'm learning this week with intermittent fasting is about medication with it. So I... Don't take a lot of meds every day, but you know, during that time of the month, you like to have your Motrin on deck. Well, my drug of choice is actually a leave. Um, naproxen, if you like the medical term. But anyway, um, taking that on an empty stomach, we're really about to see how it goes. Cause I usually take that, um, even if I'm not hungry or I'm feeling queasy or whatever the side effect of the day is, I do take it with a little bit of food. So um, I'm gonna see how the morning is. I, it's about 7 a.m. and I just took it. And if my stomach starts feeling like it's ripping up, then I'm finna eat. Um, but usually that only happens, the little crampy cramps only happen like two days three days uh so I can kind of deal with it I'm also going to be exercising to kind of help with that but we all know at the end of the day like <laughs> this is the drug the drugs really be getting you so intermittent fasting on your period intermittent fasting um while taking pain relief medicine we're going to see how that works today I'm going to be documenting it and giving an update uh probably either later on today or tomorrow so I just wanted to come over here quickly and share that Second thing I wanted to share um, had to do with intermittent fasting and doing actually um, kind of forgoing that for a religious fast. Um, so during Holy Week for the last three days of it, it's called the Triduum. And basically that's the time between Monday, Thursday and uh, Easter Vigil on, on Holy Saturday, you may know it as. Um, and a lot of Christians do take time to just fast, uh, just to remember what, what all that Jesus has done on the cross for us. So I am considering still doing my actual all day fast or a much more extended fast on um, in between Monday, Thursday evening and Good Friday evening. Uh, so I will give an update on that also later this week. And again, uh, religious fasting is different from just regular intermittent fasting or any other kind of fasting that you're doing in relation to a diet in that um, the time that you're spending away from meals is supposed to be spent either in prayer, concentrating on God, meditating on his word, doing things like that, not so much in efforts to lose weight or control hunger levels or work with your ghrelin or anything like that. Instead, the purpose is different. So it's like the motivation behind it. Um, I typically have stayed away from that in the past couple of years because I tend to mix them. So I'm like, I'm doing this thing for God, but I'm also losing so much weight and saving so many calories. Um, so I'm struggling with if I'm gonna be able to differentiate that and I'm gonna be making that decision really today um, so that I can go forward with the rest of the weekend in the right way. So there's my update for the week.